Hello, I'm Dr. Sneha Piku, consultant gynecologist and fertility specialist at Care IVF of Kolkata. Today, I am going to be talking to you about saline infusion sonography. As we all know, the uterus is the site of the implantation of the embryo. Once the sperm and the egg get fertilized inside the fallopian tube, they travel down inside to the uterus about five to seven days later, and this is when the implantation occurs. As such, the uterus is a very important organ for the establishment and continuation of the pregnancy. If there are any defects inside the uterus, it might be that the implantation might fail to occur. Once the implantation has occurred, the pregnancy does not continue. Maybe the pregnancy continues but then ends up in a miscarriage or the woman ends up having repeated miscarriages. Hence, the imaging of the uterus to see what is going inside the uterus is very essential in both women who are having fertility issues as well as women who are having repeated miscarriages. The standard 2D ultrasound is an essential part of the diagnosis of infertile women as well as women with repeated miscarriages. However, there are some abnormalities which are not clearly defined on a standard 2D ultrasound. In these women, it is where the saline infusion sonography can help. So let us understand what is the saline infusion sonography or CIS. In this procedure, a little amount of saline is pushed into the uterus and then following that the scanning is done. Because of this, the uterine cavity the inside of the uterus expands, there is higher contrast and so the lining of the uterus and the abnormalities inside the uterus are clearly visualized. Because of this procedure, some abnormalities like polyps or fibroids that are protruding inside the cavity of the uterus or scar tissue of the uterus can easily be defined. Let us now understand how this procedure is done. The saline infusion sonography or CIS is usually done after your period finishes. So this would be about 5th to the 10th day of your cycle. You will be asked to come into the radiology department and first enter your bladder. First, a standard transvaginal ultrasound is done to see the status of your uterus, the tubes if they can be seen and your ovaries. After this, again the procedure is repeated but before we will do a little bit of a pushing of the saline inside the uterus using a very thin catheter. Once the saline has been pushed, the ultrasound is again repeated and more imaging is done. This time, however, because of the saline inside the uterus, the lining is better defined and more abnormalities can easily be diagnosed. It is a simple procedure that usually does not take more than 20 to 30 minutes. This procedure is carried out by a radiologist or by an obstetrician gynecologist with training in ultrasound. The procedure is done inside the radiology department. The room will be dimly lit and you will have full privacy. Now, what are the advantages of having a saline infusion ultrasound over a standard ultrasound? Like I said, certain abnormalities inside the cavity of the uterus are better visualized with a cyst. Mandatory, it is always mandatory to check the inside of the uterus prior to transferring embryos in an IVF cycle. So your doctor might suggest that you go through a cyst before going for an embryo transfer. Other than that, women who have had repeated miscarriages can be having this problem because there is something wrong inside their uterus. In these cases also, a saline infusion sonography can help. The saline infusion sonography helps in diagnosing things like endometrial polyps, fibroids which are protruding inside the cavity, scarring inside the tissue or the uterine tissue or Asherman syndrome or adhesions inside the uterus and when combined with a 3D ultrasound it can also detect structural malformations of the uterus like septations inside the uterus, a uterine diadelphus. These all problems can contribute to pregnancy loss and preterm labor. Once the standard, once the saline infusion sonography is done, some women might experience a little bit of cramping, which is similar to the cramping during the period. For this, medications are given beforehand. They can be oral medications or an injection might also be given to make sure that you don't end up in severe pain during the procedure. Following the procedure, it is necessary that you make sure that you take care of yourself to see that you do not develop any fever in the next two, three days of the procedure. 
if you do you should inform your doctor immediately that that is because there is a risk of infection which is very small and it is quite rare to prevent this infection from occurring your doctor may prescribe antibiotics to you post the procedure in conclusion the saline infusion sonography is a very essential tool which can help in diagnosing malformations and defects inside the uterine cavity all of these can improve the success of your ivf as if these abnormalities are detected beforehand and corrected there is a greater chance and better rates of pregnancy and implantation if you have any further doubts please write in the comments below i will try my best to answer them thank you